Hello and welcome back to my RC channel. I'm Andy RC and today I'm going to show you how to convert any toy grade transmitter to any mode. When I started this hobby I joined a flying club and everyone flew mode 1. I assumed it was the most popular mode and the only way to learn to fly back then was to buddy box up with someone. There were no simulators and the internet was a series of bleeps and farts that held no information on what the rest of the world was doing. I know that mode 2 is the most popular and mode 2 fly as you looked out. This video will only be useful to you if you accidentally bought the wrong version, as the majority of toy grade quadcopters come with mode 2 as default. For us unlucky few that fly mode 1, 3 and 4, we are left in the dark. That is until you follow my instructions here. You will need a soldering iron with a built-in sucker. You can get them for about £10 on eBay. I would not recommend trying this with one of the external sucker pumps. This one sucks the solder right through the middle of the soldering iron and makes the job pretty painless. Secondly, this will only work on transmitters where the control pots are soldered direct to the circuit board. Luckily, with toy grade transmitters, this is usually the case. Each pot has six pins, three for each axis. Put simply, we desolder these pots from the board and bend the pins to the side, which means they no longer make contact with the circuit board. We then add 28 gauge lengths of wire and then solder them to the pins. We solder the other end to the desired axis, therefore switching them over. This method leaves the trims in the same place, which is not a big deal for me. If you really wanted to switch the trims, you could use this same method, but it would be more tricky due to there being less pins to hold the trim pot up. It's easier than it sounds, so without further ado, let's convert mode 2 to mode 1 using the V686 transmitter. Mode 3 and mode 4 flyers, all you have to do is bend the pins of the axes you wish to switch. I will show you how to know which axis relates to which pins later in the video. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is remove the screws. I've already removed this screw. The thread was broken on it, so it took some getting out. So I'm not going to be putting that screw back in. Next, I'm going to remove this top thing here. It's a little bit tight. doesn't really need a screw on it. Now you want to be careful when removing the top because these buttons are going to fall out. We've got this wire attached here to the power. I'm going to remove these buttons and also these as well. Now before I move this, I'm just going to tip the screws out. Also this power button here needs to lift off. There we go. And there we go. The reason why I'm removing this from the TX is I don't want to melt any of the plastic here but you can see there that this is where the pots are there and there and this is what we need to remove you've got a connector on this side we can remove that too gives a bit more freedom at this point you want to remove the sticks as well because they're plastic they might melt with the heat So I'm now going to remove these pots here with my solder sucker and we are going to switch them over. So here is the solder sucker. There it's got a hole in the middle. And I'm going to push it down and we're going to heat it up.
So what I have done here now is arrange these little pods so that the throttle is on the mode one side and you can see here we've got spring loaded on this side and what we want to do is bend the pins on the axes that we want to change so in this instance all that is swapping is the throttle and the pitch so I'm going to take this side here and if you're not sure which side is the pitch you can see there the little gimbal moves there on the side and so we know that that one is the one that is related to the pitch so I am just going to take these pins now and very carefully bend them up like that and the same on the throttle side again we can see that's the one that's moving so bend these pins up like that and then I have cut six lengths of wire and the idea is to just solder these wires to these pins and then on the other end we're going to attach it to where the other side was connected so we're literally just swapping the signal wires there. I'm going to cut the end off slightly so it's not too long and then carefully without trying to melt the plastic we may melt it a bit but you have to be very careful and solder this to the pin Okay, so now we take the throttle stick and we switch it to this side. And with our wire sticking out the side. Same with this one. Now we want to solder these in. Of course, these three pins are going to be missing, so we don't need to worry about those. Next, I'm soldering the wire lengths in coming from the pins, which is basically redirecting the pins in the same order because we can't physically move the pot. We redirect it to where we would expect it to sit and then I cover it in hot glue so that they don't move. Now it's just a matter of moving the wires about so that they don't get in the way when we want to close up the TX. Now I'm screwing it all back in. It does take quite a long time to get all those screws out, but I really like this particular transmitter, it has a lot of screws, means that it stays in there nice and tight. And there we go, that is the mode conversion. I hope you enjoyed the video and you find it useful. Please press the like button and please continue to subscribe. Cheers.